and you get what? Okay, 2t, it's a scalar. Okay, <laughs> so the instantaneous power uh, vector is going to be 2t. Now let's see if, if we can make sense out of that. At t, so let's just say the thing starts at rest, and then you start to drag it. This, you, the thing is starting to drag it. At t equals to 0, the instantaneous power is 0. 0 watts. At t equals to 1 second, the instantaneous wa uh, power is 2 watts. As, at t equals to three, uh, 2 seconds, the instantaneous power is 4 watts. 3 seconds, it's 6 watts. 4 seconds, it's what? 8 watts. What's the total time? Square root of 30. So, uh, you know, when you get to 5 seconds, is 10 watts and the final time is square root of 30 so the power uh, is, will be 2 times square root of 30 so it will be something like uh, 11 watts or 12 watts something like that not 12 watts it will be a little less so what's happening as you're dragging it the, the force that you apply is the same right but the power output of that force is increasing because the velocity is increasing, okay? As the object is increasing in velocity, your, uh, the power output of the force is increasing as a function of time. And the wattage is increasing. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So what was the average power here? 5.48. That's the average power output of the force. So let's see if that makes sense. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then it ends at about 11 something, right? So does it make sense? The average power is about halfway in between, right? 5.48 watts is the average power. You see? Now, if the function, if the force was increasing as a function of time, then the power output would increase as a function of time as well, and the average power will not necessarily be half of the of the total power. You see? Okay. So now you see how that uh, how to apply. The, both the average power equation and the instantaneous power equation. 